Hi and welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will talk about some of the most common errors made by new programmers in regards to if statements or selection control structures. So without delay, the first error that is made by new programmers is not putting the parentheses around the logical expression. So let's consider this portion of code that I have written here if age greater than 18, system that out at print line, you are eligible to vote. If you run this portion of code, you will get a syntax error. Okay, as you can see, errors exist is in required project. So the reason we are getting the error is because our logical expression is not surrounded by parentheses or brackets. So we have to always keep that in mind that whenever we are using if statements in our program, we always need to put our logical expression or our condition inside the brackets. You will see that if I put it inside the brackets, I won't get any error. Okay, so the errors are no more. So the second most common error is putting a semicolon right after the condition statement, like this. Okay, I have put a semicolon here. So this portion of code, if we run, it's going to lead us to a semantic mistake. That means that our program is going to run. We won't get an error showing on the screen. You know, the editor is not going to prompt like a window telling us that there is an error. But instead, this will return an unexpected result. For example, here, if I run, you will see that I will still get you are eligible to vote. Even though here we say that age is equal to 10, so that means that this condition will evaluate to false. So normally I'm supposed to get an empty result here in my console, but instead I'm getting, you know, this output here. Because the if statement will operate on an empty statement. So by putting the semicolon here, what we are telling the program is that, okay, this if statement will operate on an empty statement. So whether the condition is true or not, we will get an empty result. So, and then the system that out and print line here is like a standalone statement in our program. So it's not related to this if statement up here. So that's why we are still getting it. You are eligible to vote whether the value in here is greater than 18 or less than 18, we will still get you are eligible to vote because the system that's out at print line is uh, considered to be as a standalone statement here. Uh, the third common mistake that beginners make is putting a semicolon right after the condition before the first action statement in a two-way selection control structure. I'm going to write a two-way selection control structure here, and then I'm gonna say system out the print line, you are not eligible to vote. So this code here will lead to an error. It's going to lead to a syntax error because I have put a semicolon just right after the condition if I try to run, you will see that we will get an error here. So the program won't even be able to run. So if the if statement in a two-way selection control structure ends with a semicolon, that means that the first statement here is no longer part of this if statement. And this else statement will stand by itself. So in Java, we cannot have a standalone else statement. So that's why you can see that it is being underlined here because it's a syntax error in Java to have a standalone else statement. So your else statement cannot be separated from the if statement. So putting the semicolon here is like telling the program that, okay, I want to separate this if statement here from the rest of the statements down here, including the else statement. And then the else statement is going to be a standalone statement. Then Java is going to consider it to be as a syntax error. 
So that's the reason why we are getting the error. You will see that if I remove the semicolon here, the error is going to disappear. So we are not getting the error anymore. But as soon as I put the semicolon here, we are going to get the error. And it is underlining the else statement. So the fourth common mistake made by new programmers is not putting curly braces when you have more than one action statement to execute. So let me say, for example, here I have two action statements. System that I that print line. And in here, I'm going to write, you are no longer a minor. So what I want to say here is that whenever my condition is met, I want to output these two action statements. Okay, I want to execute these two action statements. So this portion of code will definitely lead to a semantic error. Your program will be able to run, but the result will be very confusing. You might probably think that both output statements are the action statements of this if statement. But in reality, that's not the case because these output statements are not contained in curly braces. The if statement will act on only one output statement, which is the first one here. As for the second output statement down here, cute, it will still execute whether the condition evaluates to true or not. So let me show you what will happen. Let's say, for example, that here we have the value 20. So that means that the value stored in age is greater than 18. So the condition will evaluate to true. If I run, bingo, I'm getting these two action statements showing. But then if the value stored in the variable age is 10, that means that the value stored in age is less than 18. And normally I'm supposed to get an empty result here, since I want to consider these two action statements only when the condition evaluates to true. But instead, if I run, you will see that I will still get you are no longer a minor corresponding to the second action statement. Okay, so that's why I was saying that this can be very confusing because no matter what happens, this statement will be executed. In this portion of code here, because we've not put the curly braces, only this first action statement is associated to the if statement. As for the second action statement down here, it is considered to be as a standalone output statement. No matter what happens with the condition here, this second action statement will still execute. Whether the condition is true or false, it will still execute. So just like I showed you, if I put 20 here, it will still execute. If I put 10 here, the condition is false, but the second action statement will still execute. So that is what will happen in that case. So in order to correct that, as I said, we have to use curly braces to form com a compound statement like this. So I'm gonna put open my curly braces here and then I'm gonna close it down here. So now you will see that if I change this value to 20, I will get my two action statements executed. And then if I change the value to 10 and then run, I'm going to get an empty result here, okay? Because this is a one-way selection control structure, and then these two action statements are going to be executed only when the condition evaluates to true. So that is how you solve this particular error. Always keep in mind that when you have more than one action statement, you need to put curly braces in order to make sure that uh, you get the expected result in your console. So guys, that was it concerning some of the mistakes that so many people can make when using if statements or selection control structures. So, and I've also shown you how to correct them. Thanks for viewing. I hope this video was informative and please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more. Let's meet in the next video.